I love history, and this is a topic that often comes up when I'm talking with other people. Um, a few months back, I was talking with one of my favorite YouTubers, The Book of Goria, and we were kind of chatting about history and stuff, and uh, um, what our favorite historical topics were, and books and stuff like that. And we kind of brought up the topic of visiting historic sites. And she mentioned, um, since she lives in Australia, she was talking about the historic sites she's visited there. And at the time, I didn't really think much about it. Um, but a few days later, I was getting ready to go to the bookstore to uh, um, get some new books. I needed a couple nonfiction books. And I was thinking, um, you know, what nonfiction books I'd like to get. And every once in a while, I like to get a nonfiction book on a topic I have never read before. Um, and that, my conversation with um, the book of Gory had kind of stuck, out, stuck in my head. And I kind of thinking, you know, like she mentioned, you know, visiting these um, sites important to Australia's history. And I've really never read a book or even a chapter of a history book that was really focused on the history of Australia. I thought, well, this is a period of history. I just haven't really studied much. So um, I went to my bookstore. They didn't have anything, so I decided to go online and um, found some Australian history books. I picked up one that's interesting. Um, so I found one, read it, really enjoyed it. Um, so before I start this book review for this Australian history book, I want to mention and give a plug to the Book of Gloria. One, thank you for inspiring me to read this book. And two, she has an excellent YouTube channel, so I'll put the link below um, in the description box. Go check it out. She does great book reviews. She's very interesting, um, has very insightful book reviews. Um, so I strongly encourage you to um, go check the Book of Gloria's YouTube page out and subscribe. I think you'll really enjoy it. And with that out of the way, I'll begin the book review that she inspired, The Fatal Shore, the Ethic of Australia's Founding by Robert Hughes. Uh, this book was very, very interesting. I really enjoyed it. It's about 600 pages or so. Now, first off, I'll, I'll say if um, you're not really into nonfiction books, I don't think you will enjoy this book because it's written very much in the traditional nonfiction sense where it's citing sources and it reads very much like a history book. Uh, a lot of times people who don't like nonfiction um, the type of nonfiction books they will enjoy are the ones that are written more in story format, where they almost feel more like a fiction book. This book is not written in a style. This is written very much in a traditional history nonfiction book. But if you really like nonfiction, I think this is a book you really could enjoy. Uh, like I said, I knew some basics of Australian history, but I never really read, like I said, a book or even a chapter of a book on Australian history. So I really found this interesting. This specific book focuses on the aspect of Australia's um, settlement by England, or sorry, I should say colonization by England, um, as a penal colony. So the book really explores the social conditions in um, England that made establishing a penal colony necessary, um, how this went in Australia, did uh, the goals that the penal colony was started with, did, were they met, um, did they fall short, how this um, aspect of Australia's founding has shaped um, Australian self-identity, their politics, their culture, all sorts of stuff. Very, very interesting book. Um, what I really like about what the author does with this is he approaches it from all angles. So he gives the viewpoints to the politicians who came up with the plans, um, the prisoners, the prison guards, um, the soldiers that went along to help start the colony, uh, the children of the prisoners who um, were born after the um, in Australia, all sorts of um, viewpoints. So it wasn't like you were just getting the pre prisoners viewpoints or the guards viewpoints. So this was a, felt like it was a very well balanced view of this aspect of Australian history. Um, I really enjoy that because a lot of times some nonfiction books will fall drastically short of that, and they obviously leave some group out that played an important role. This one covers pretty much all those aspects. I really enjoyed it. So if you don't know much about Australian history, but you, you kind of have a desire to learn a bit more, I would recommend The Fatal Shore, The Ethic of Australia's History by Robert Hughes. And on the same topic, if there's some, you know, country or event or topic that you've never read a book about, but, you know, kind of interesting, go out and check it. Like I said, I always thought Australia was a very interesting country. It's a place I'd like to visit someday. But yeah, I never read a book about it, so I'm really grateful that the book Agoria inspired me to read a book, and now I know a lot more about the topic. So if you really like 
you're really interested in Brazil or Russia or China or some figure in history, um, go out and, you know, look up a book, uh, get it, and I, you'll really enjoy it. You know, expand your horizons. If you're always reading books about a specific topic and you never branch out, um, I think you're really just, the only person that's hurt by that is you because you really, like, you're just kind of focused on one little small area and you never really branch out, you never broaden your horizons. So every once in a while, take a chance. Um, read a book on something you've never read before, like Australian history, like I did, and I think you'll get a lot out of it. So, hope you enjoyed this review. Remember to check out the Book of Gloria's YouTube page. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon.